let's give this a shot. Um, is there a way that we can actually open this? No. We need to actually do it inside. Alright, so back out we go. That was pretty pointless, anyways. So, enter the forklift. Now, this is going to be a bit more of a challenge, but we are up to any challenge whatsoever. So, let's go back to the loading camera. Actually, it's very aptly named loading camera. It's what we are there using it there for. So. Am I not doing the right thing? I don't think I was. It's not good. I've got to fasten this. Like so. There we go. That's what we needed to do. Ooh. Just hit the microphone. I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> oh, you silly me. I also have decided to start um, streaming maybe a little bit. Just uh, not as much as I used to. I used to stream a lot of Clash of Clans. Very popular, like, well, incredibly popular mobile game. It wasn't really my thing, though. Uh, streaming that much, though, it's uh, very time-consuming. Like, when you're streaming, you can't really do anything apart from just sit on your ass and just stream. So, quite unproductive. But it was a lot of fun as well, like, interacting with you guys. But I think it'd be a lot more fun playing some different games, though. So, see so, yeah, how that'll go. Anyways... Okay, has many fastens. There we go. Hopefully that's going to be alright. If I manage to push that that way. There we go. Alright, so those are the uh, roof tiles, right? Two grey roof tiles. Then we've got the insulation material, which I would wager is this yellow stuff, right? And then I'd imagine that other stuff is the asphalt. I think. I mean, I mean, I'm 100% certain I bought the asphalt, right? I should be, shouldn't I? Well, I do not how not know how to read all of these uh, words in whatever language they are. I guess some European language, most likely German, would make the most sense. Yeah, this is definitely insulation. That's for certain. Gonna have to go around the other side though, which is no problem for me. Rob the tow truck driver, not tow truck, but forklift driver. <laughs> oh, I am so silly some days. Oh, oh, oh. Let's try not to get stuck as well. This physics engine can get rather unforgiving. Alright, and then one cement, and that should be it. I mean, I'm really hoping that's it, isn't it? One asphalt. It's got to be asphalt, All right? Gotta be. I'm certain I paid for it. What in the world is going on? Let's lift it up. I'm oh, 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 oh. What in the world is going on? is not fastened well it's not even connected properly it just magically unconnected itself so drastic times call for drastic measures let's go ahead and uh try to do this again shall we just a little bit better this time uh, it should be good enough Should be. Alright, cargo's been fastened, thankfully. It could have ended much, much worse than it did. Alright. 
asphalt. This has got to be asphalt. Apparently, I knew some uh, German, some basic German. Ah, but German would be a an important language to learn, though. I guess not. Maybe in Australia, but I guess Indonesian would be much more important. Okay, dokes. So now you need, do need to make sure that nothing's over the edge to attach the cargo, because I remember that used to be a problem for me when I was playing the game earlier on. But seems like that's all fixed for now. I'll just see if the, it does say anything like asphalt. Um, Solador. I'm very tempted to just uh, check on my iPhone what Solador means. I'm very tempted to text and drive right now. Let's go ahead and uh, try that. Even though you guys can't see what I'm doing, I'm pretty sure I do have Translate apps on my phone. So... I actually was actually looking at the German to English translations before. I'm not quite sure what I was looking at, but okay. Solador means... Let's have a look. We're doing this on the go. This is why I don't text and drive, folks. It's exactly why I don't text and drive. Oh. Solador is just Solador in um, English as well. That's not good. That's not good at all. My, uh, I'm just... Assuming that's the company, what's... Does it say anything else? No. Oh, this is not promising then. I'm just going to have to uh, wish for the best then, aren't I? We should be good though. I should have more confidence in my um, buying abilities. So let's try and um, make this as smooth as it was last time. Because we will be paid rather handsomely. So what we've got to do is get back out, detach the cargo, come back in, press Y, and start lifting all of this as far up as it'll go. But like so, and then we start reversing slowly but surely. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, uh, so what uh, What do they want us to do? What is this thing that they want us to do? Um, okay, tiles. They want us to get one more pair of tiles, really? I've got two tiles for you. Let's go back to jobs, active jobs, and it should be two tiles, alright? It's just that one of them. Okay. Let's see what the problem is here, folks. So it seems like all that... What? What if I do Y reset? Oh, this is so... I don't know. There we go. I thought we did it right. I was thinking maybe the insulation or stuff wouldn't have counted, but it seems like we did a good job. So what do I need to do now? Clear the construction area small. Okay. Move this vehicle out the way. There's nothing that I can do here. I just need to come back in, press Y, bring this back down. Try to do a three-point turn. As best as I can. And we are out of here. And let's just uh, watch this place magically transform to its completed state, hopefully. Have I not completed this mission? Yes. Unfortunately, I was not looking at the house. But, excellent, Apprentice. We've leveled up. From now on, one more contract will be offered. Yay me. Thousand experience. Can't complain about that. Stage has been finished. And look at that house. It does not have orange bricks anymore. I guess it's been nicely tinted and all. Alright, so. Getting paid very, very handsomely. I'm assuming we've got a lot of money now to go ahead and spend. We've got 116,000 credits, so I'd say that's a lot. So, go ahead and uh, let's go choose another mission then, shall we? Oh, we do have special jobs available to us, though. Where we've got to talk to the foreman and talk to Gerd. You know what? Let's go take this special job. So, accept the contract. Won't be getting paid for it, but better than nothing, right? Talk to the foreman. Or talk to Foreman. Um, I'm not quite sure where the Foreman is. I'm assuming he's going to be 
in our main base though. It seems like that's where he is actually. Have to excuse my driving skills. How uh, rather abysmal. Nothing else is around here? No. Okay. Anyway, let's go talk to the foreman. Hi, Arsenal Robert. I just checked our funds and I think it's time to extend our vehicle fleet. Make a trip to the vehicle dealer. Maybe they can make us a good offer. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll show you the location on the map. Just ask for Gerd. Or Gerd. I know him from the good old days. You can't miss him. He's a giant of a man. I'll let him know that you are coming. Okay, I'll check if you have any good offers or if they have any good offers first. Alright, so well, I don't think I'll be checking. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, just talk to Gerd now anyway. Very tempted to uh, actually hire a different that other person though. I wonder what that means they'll be doing. You know what? Let's go do it. Right? Why not? What do we have to lose? So, we go to company, we go to crew, hire a worker. Yes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, um... No, I definitely don't want to fire him. We're at level 4, so we get another guy at level 8. Um, I'm not quite sure how we're going to get him to work for us, but I'm sure I'll figure it out soon enough. So, let's get back. Follow the green lines, unless... Let's see. There is a bit of a trek that we've got to go on. There's a train station here. You know what? Let's go to the train station. How's that sound? Do we have any green lines there to take us there? We do. Okay, good. Got to make sure we are on the right track. Actually, from memory, the train station is where we came from, isn't it? Where we started this whole game. This whole journey. So, be interesting to see how we can um, move about the city. Because I have not done this at all. Not the doors. Maybe the ticketing machine. No. 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 Okay, what if I get on the actual train station? No. you got to be able to use a train station. Come on now. Oh, no. What if I run on the tracks? That doesn't seem to work. How the hell do you get on a train? There's no doubt something that I'm missing that's so obvious. There's like embarrassingly obvious, but I mean I can't click anything. Can't run into the doors, it doesn't seem like. No, no. It's gonna end up me being stuck in the game and that's not fun. We do not want that to happen. So can't go to the bus stop either. Nope. Damn. That'd have to be the fast transport though. I just don't know how to use it. Which is no biggie really. So let's go back to that map. Sorry about all this gibberish. This jibber jabber. We gotta go to go to the vehicle dealer. I'm gonna get out of here if I press escape. No. Okay. Um, are we able to get through? go through that tunnel? That would be pretty cool. Let's just knock this sign down. If Oh, we're not going fast enough. Don't have enough inertia. There we go. Oh, cool. So we're going to be able to drive through the tunnel. I mean, it's not going to be Euro Truck Sim, but... That's cool enough for me. Let's go change the view to the cockpit camera. We're driving a man truck. Very obviously. As you can see on the horn. The branding. Hopefully this is just a one-way tunnel. There shouldn't be any oncoming traffic. If there are. Oh, there is. Okay, we're going to have to squeeze in here. Get back out. Overtake these guys. Now, yeah, countryside does look nice. Let's try not to crash too much. Yeah, what this game definitely needs is an update where we can actually see how far we've got away, got to go to reach our destination that we've chosen on the minimap. What's this place over here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta slow down. Seems like an interesting place. 
sure we'll have a couple of missions to do there. I'm sure we'll have some countryside missions as well, not just in the city or in the little town that we've been working on so far. These crops, they are crops indeed. wonder what would happen if I drove over them. Alright, so this is very obviously the big city. We have almost reached our target destination at that as well with all these cranes. Actually, I think Euro Truck Sim is supposed to have an update, a downloadable content. It's supposedly been coming out for the last almost half a year now, I'd say. The Scandinavian downloadable content, but geez, that guy almost got run over. Um, but it hasn't come out yet, I don't think. So I don't know what's going on with that. I know they've been trying really hard for American Truck Sim for quite a while now. That seems like that'll be a great game. So, location has been discovered, a vehicle dealer city. At the vehicle dealer, you can buy vehicles and machines to expand your motor pool. In addition to a wide array of construction machines produced by labor and man, the de dealer also offers import vehicles and and from other manufacturers. Mo oh, mod vehicles. Actually, that is something that they've added into the game, mods. Seems like it's got pretty extensive mod support. So, naturally, you have to have enough money on hand to buy vehicles. After buying a vehicle, you can try out all of its functions in a test area on site. Whoa. Jeez, that was lucky that we did not crash. All right. So, let's get out of here. Talk to this uh, big bear of a man. Ah, who is this? You must be Arsenal Robert. My old friend Pete told me you were coming. How is the old rascal? You came at the right time, by the way. I just had a few new vehicles that might interest you. There is something for everybody. Ah, yeah, you must be good. Nice to meet you. As far as I know, Pete is fine. And yes, we would like to increase our vehicle fleet by one vehicle. By one vehicle? Come on, let me make you an offer you can't refuse. I'll sell you a fleet of the most modern construction machines for a price you won't find anywhere else. One step at a time. I think one is enough for now. The big flatbed truck with a crane is really nice. The integrated crane, loading and unloading pallets and the other stuff is easy as pie. Look, I will make you a great offer, and if you buy a vehicle, you can try it out right here on our premises. Good to know. Give me some time to look around. No problem at all. Ah, before I forget, if you don't need your vehicle anymore, or if you run out of space for vehicles, you can bring it back to me, and I will buy it back for 75% of the original purchase price. It's definitely something to consider. Just take your time and let me know if you find something you like. Too easy. Got an easy 200 experience points as well. So, do we talk to you, Gerd? Come on, Gerd. Yes, we do. All right, so, we've got the flatbed with the crane, which it seems like it'll be something that I'll get. I'm not quite sure what this 1,700 credits means, but anyways. Wow, we've got rollers, small half-pipe trucks, low boy trucks. There's a bit of everything here for everyone. We've got a tower crane. That's going to be a great time got a mobile crane as well and of course we've got trailers very nice indeed all right so let's go buy the flatbed with the crane because what else am I gonna spend my money on right so yeah let's go do it six cylinder common rail diesel engine yes I really would like to buy that so the first machine buy a first vehicle I guess we also get money for completing those missions, which is nice. So, doesn't actually cost us seventy-five thousand or eighty-five thousand. Um, where do we take ownership of the vehicle, and can we actually steal these vehicles? I would say so. There we go. There's our one. Let's check this out. Oh, boo! Oh wow, even these cranes have um, like proper waiting systems and everything. That is very, very cool. I'd love it if we were able to climb up this. But alas, we are not able to. So, into our new vehicle we go. It's actually very, very large. Much larger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be the same as our other flatbed, just uh, with a crane. But it is much, much larger. Not that I'm one to complain. I'm sure it'll be much more difficult to uh, try out as well. But we're going to have a lot of fun in the coming episodes with this machine. In the meantime, though, let's have a look at some of these jobs. Uh, we've got 
container transport missions. Um, I don't remember what that means. What does this stuff mean? I guess how hard it is or something. Got a tutorial with a flatbed truck. I think I'll do that in my own time. Got an architect mission, which I need a large excavator. Which I guess I don't have. I must have a small one. A concrete pump and a residence. So, I think next up. Well, we're going to have to do a bit of excavating either way. So, I'll have to decide later on what I want. But until next time, though, guys, I'll see you later. And hopefully, you've enjoyed this as much as I have. And welcome back to the glory days of Arsenal Robert.